Anything to declare, Father? Not unless you wish to make a donation. I'm on a fundraising tour of your lovely island. Maybe next time. Good luck. Thank you. Take over for me, will you? Message for Aunt Mary. Go ahead, you're clear to send message to Aunt Mary. Code two. Three may be in paradise. On surveillance. Roger, message received. the side door. The place is like a tomb. Shame you broke my cover. Now I won't be able to give you my blessing. I'm not going to 
I say the six ball in the corner there. Andre says you don't even come close. Yeah, I'll make it a deuce and I'll shave it any way you want. You got it. Hey, Johnny, isn't there anything you won't bet on? Yeah, marriage. No percentage. It'll be cash, friend. No checks. Johnny Paul? Yeah? You're under arrest. For what? A and B aggravated on the person of one Harper Conyers, Jr. Harper Conyers, Jr., the Welsher. Had a frank and open discussion about his personal finances, all right? The charges were dropped a month ago. I was told to bring you in, period. All right. I'm all yours. Marie, you keep the party going, huh, baby? Eight ball, corner pocket. Aunt Mary, I could have found you without this escort. I needed you fast. Besides, it's good for your image. So was the luau I was having. Well, I could have been pruning roses. Now, there's a time and there's a place for fun and games, Johnny. I guess that's why you cashiered me out of the Navy and stuck me into this assignment in paradise. I know my people. Besides, with three generations of Annapolis blood in your veins, I knew you wouldn't turn me down. Well, next time use a telephone, will you? Telephones can be tapped. This place can't. Trouble, huh? I need the first team. Do you know this man? Sean Donovan. British agent. One of the best. Until he went freelance and sold out his whole network, 28 agents. This was in 1973. A year ago, he was spotted by a stringer in Manila. New identity, code name, Tree. Tree? Here in Honolulu? I had a call this morning from one of my men at the airport. Before I could get back to him, he was found hanging from a rope in a church. Any idea why he's here? Well, the Navy's working on a new magnetic torpedo at Kaneohe. The lab is working on a 21st century chemical explosive out at Makapu. The Korean ambassador is due sometime this week. They're loading a new Phoenix missile on an aircraft carrier, and we've just opened a new top-secret telecommunications center for the entire Pacific Intelligence Command. He likes ladies, and he likes gambling. I want you to find him, find out why he's here, and stop him. I'll give you all the people you want. Oh, Zulu and so saying, that's all I need. Are you certain your gambler cover is clean? I'm certain. Well, it better be, because if you know about Tree, Tree knows about Diamond Head, your code name. You can bet on it. Captain McIntosh, I'll give you 20 to 1 odds I find him first. That's right, Father. Honolulu is the fastest growing city in the world. That's why we take the census twice a year. Well, my, myself, I liked it better when the clipper just flew in once a week. Oh, yeah. I remember the day when there were just two hotels on Waikiki. Yeah. Well, paradise sacrificed to progress. Huh? Only three people living in the rectory? This is myself, uh, Father Wong, and Miss Ho. Oh, <laughs> she's over 70. She's been my housekeeper for 16 years. Is there any visitors? Well, apart from the poor soul who died up there. Oh, that was terrible. That was just terrible. Anyone else? Oh, yes. There was a, a Father Horton, a Jesuit missionary. You know, he had to leave just after he'd been here for an hour. He had some bad news from home, he said. He was a lovely man. Lovely man. Mm. Did he have to travel alone? No, I did see the two men who came for him. They were old parishioners, he said. Asians? Um, just, just one of them. Mm -hmm. Cow, one of the one that go, 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 that go
Do you ever knock? Mm-mm. It spoils the fun. I think the fun is already spoiled. Yep. Better find this man fast. He might be working for the same outfit that nailed you in Bangkok. You know how rough they play. Not what they did to me or how they did it. That's what they did to my family. All of them. Yes, I know how rough they play. Why, Johnny? Why us? Every day, people get shot down. People get tortured by professionals who are paid by so-called patriots. It's become fashionable for presidents to lie, diplomats to steal, oil companies to sponsor revolutions. Some people can live with the taste. I can't. Maybe I just like to play with matches, huh? As long as we don't burn our fingers. We won't. Well, where do we start? Well, we don't know what cover he's using. It'll be British, Irish, Australian, something close to that. I know a hundred men that fit the description. This one likes pretty ladies. Oh, you're getting warmer. Likes to gamble, your back room, roulette, 21 tables. That's for members only, and we're healed swingers. So, Singh, what I'm trying to tell you is that you're not going to have to look hard. This guy's in Hawaii, he's going to find you.
Now, my name is Commander Yarnell. Would you call uh, Colonel Millet Butler, please, and tell him that we're here? Certainly, sir. Right. They're here now. Tell Commander Yarnell I'll be right down. say so myself. Colonel, it's time for your swim. Colonel, welcome to Hawaii. Commander, I always enjoy a vacation from the Pentagon. Professor N. Ping from the University. Professor, I hear you and your colleagues have got some surprises for us up at Makapu. What they tell me, I hope we're the last men on Earth to see it. Room 205. Interpol did the rest. Takeo Sakai, a street kamikaze from Tokyo. He's a professional assassin. The other guy is Ernest Graver, once a contract hitman for East German intelligence. Calls Tahiti home now. Very bad dudes. Where are they now? Mama Chong's eating steaks. Well, they show up, honk twice, huh? Loud.
Any Billy Kia? No sweat. I planted a bug where they'll be sure to find it. When they do, they'll move on tree, I hope. You stay with them, huh? Right. Take this place apart. It's okay. Gentlemen, uh, we've already met Professor Anne Ping. How are you, Professor? Dr. Sherman, Dr. Yamamoto, this is Colonel Butler. Gentlemen, a pleasure. This isn't the Pentagon, Colonel, but I think you'll find this interesting. Oh, I'm sure I will. Shall we begin? For security reasons, we maintain our experimental laboratory below sea level. Our test began with a rare cone snail called the cloth of gold. On contact, its microscopic needles inject alkaloids, which paralyze the central nervous system. Instantaneous death. We extracted the liquid poison, vaporized it, then crossed it with dioxin, a virulent gas in its own right. The result was astounding. We have placed a gram of what we call the gold cross in a glass vial in the center of the tank. The tank has been pressurized at 20 pounds. To ignite, we simply reduce the air pressure. As a safety precaution, the tank has been reinforced to withstand nuclear fission. Observe the pressure, gentlemen. We will have combustion when it reaches zero.
gentlemen the gold cross. Technically, Colonel, it's a, a light mobile field weapon with unlimited killing potential. Amazing biochemical breakthrough. Incredible. But you must stop these tests. We outlawed chemical warfare eight years ago. How much of this gold cross have you made? Only enough for the underwater test. We've destroyed the rest. Normal precautionary measures, Colonel. We can't have these experiments falling into strange hands. Of course. May I see what precautions you've taken? We maintain two safety checks. First, the gas is locked in this compression chamber and kept under pressure. Additionally, the vial itself is also pressurized. And your research? It's all been recorded on tape. Formulas, chemical compounds, every step of the test from the very beginning, including the exact amounts of the mixture. Well, when do we see the underwater test? Colonel, surely you've seen enough. Commander, your report mentioned two tests. Until I see both of them, I am not authorized to give a final judgment. Very well, Colonel. Gentlemen, we have to fumigate the tank, destroy the toxin. Noon tomorrow. speaking? Thank you. What? There's something else. Whoever planted that bug is an amateur. Wrong. There's an American in deep cover here, codenamed Diamond Head, and he's good. He made it too easy for you. Meaning what? Meaning he expects you to lead him to me. You're being followed. First, lose Diamond Head's man, then set up at the diving shop, contact our friends, Tell to prepare the alternate escape route just in case we go tomorrow as planned. Well, what about this diamond head? He's looking for tree. You'll find him. How? It's my job. Tell Sakai to call me. I'll do the rest.
Graver said you wanted me. There's a disco called the Dragon Lady, moored in Honolulu Harbor. Be outside on the upper deck at 2200 hours. Problems? I'll be posing as that gentleman. Basil Phillips. Very British, very obvious. Well, Sakai, take a good look. I'd hate there to be a case of mistaken identification. That could be fatal. I'll be taking a midnight stroll. If my instincts are correct, I'll be having company. Unwelcome company. I understand. On Sakai. No marks. Nothing for the authorities. doesn't do you justice. What's your pleasure? My pleasures are personal. I never mix them with business. Beauty and brains in the same lovely packet. You know, your back room is almost as famous as you are. They say Lux a lady. Then she should be quoted. Jackie. Singh wants you. Pronto. The house shows ten. Maybe. You seem to do well here. I give my customers what they want. The exotic orient and no cover charge. Anything else? Information, for example? Information is like sex. You can sell it 50 times and you still own it. An exchange, then. You for diamond head. I don't understand. Five years ago, an American intelligence agent in Bangkok lost her cover. Her family was liquidated and she was subject to the usual brainwashing. However, her people got her out and they relocated her here in Hawaii, naturally under an assumed identity. Siulan. So same. You have a saying, all Asian look alike. Oh, I wouldn't bet my life on that. There's a contract out on this girl, and there are certain types here in Honolulu who would enjoy collecting you. Who is Diamond Head? You have made a mistake. I do not look so long. Oh, Diamond Head. Pay 20. So saying, anyone ever tell you this is against the law? 
Uh, it seems I win. We are playing for matchsticks. Oh, congratulations. Basil Phillips. Johnny Paul. I should warn you, Johnny does this for a living. Come on, I chase him away. Like a gambling man, Mr. Phillips. Well, I uh, I take risks, but uh, only when I know the odds and the adversary. You make a game of chance sound like a battlefield. <laughs> when the stakes are high, that's exactly what it is. The gospel according to Napoleon. It's spoken like a military man. Actually, I'm into the money game, you know, real estate investments, that kind of thing. I see. But only when I know the odds. The house shows a queen. Stand. Play these. Blackjack, the house wins. Correction. It's been a uh, pleasure, Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul. If I uh, hear of any good investments, I'll be sure to look you up. You do that. He knows who I am. He knows who you are. Get Zulu here fast. And you stay here. Wait for my call. Right, Zulu. You better come over as fast as you can. To stay put. Oh, it's my fault. Tree used me to get to you. What are you talking about? His man was waiting up there long before. It's Tree. He's been ahead of us every step of the way. What happened? Cyanic acid pack from up there. You're lucky. There's the one called Sakai. What about Graber? I lost him. He made a phone call at Waikiki. Then evaporated. It's Tree again. You gotta find those two. They've gotta have a backup house somewhere. You okay? No, I'm not. But will you get moving? I'll bring you the heads on a plate. What about me? You're out of it. Why? They broke your cover. You got to go home, lock your door, and stay there. Don't let anyone except me. How about you? They think I'm dead. I got an edge. Johnny, please. Yeah, I know. Be careful. Captain! 
I have an Aunt Mary, code seven, line two. It's on scramble. Johnny? Tree broke my cover. How? He knows who So Singh is. But he went for the phone tap number. Took a big risk in showing himself. He's ready to move. All right, I'll tighten up security all over the island. He used the name Basil Phillips, British. I don't think you'll turn anything up, but uh, run it down, huh? Tomorrow, same time, same place. Those odd cases you're looking for. I found them. How much this time? 75. 50. All right. Here's Come the on. money. Where are they? Find it in Ayer Street. They leased the place yesterday. Much like men of commerce to me, though. Sorry, I'll have to check your pass again. Certainly. Thank you, Colonel. Sorry, we're running a little late. Oh, please push it, Doctor. The Army keeps on a tight schedule. May I use your phone? Certainly. Decompression temperatures, Doctor. Do you have a readout from the test yesterday? Yes, Doctor. The barometric components varied dramatically from previous tests. The expansion of the biochemical reaction was greater than we had expected due to the larger quantities of both the liquefied toxin and dioxin. Certainly, the compression factor went beyond our calculations. The tank itself successfully contained the unexpected aberrations of compression, heat, and barometric extremes. But I'm afraid some of our electronic recording instruments were not adequately programmed. Uh. 
The Falls of Clyde was built by the Scots in 1878 and is one of the largest four massive square riggers ever constructed. She later sailed from San Francisco and was converted to an oil tanker and led a long life freighting oil to Hawaii. She's now the sole surviving example of a sailing oil tanker. And through the ages, she's had many owners. And in 1964, You were right about Basil Phillips. He died 40 years ago in infancy. All Tree did was phony up a passport. So it's a dead end. Anything on Tree's men? Not yet. Well, we're running out of time. McIntosh. Control. The body of Colonel Butler was just found. Apparent accidental drowning. Since he was cleared top secret, I thought you'd want to know. Message received. Thank you. Butler was a top ordnance expert. Pentagon. He arrived here two days ago. What was he doing here? Macapoo Point. Mac! That's it. Tree was taking Butler's place. He's after the chemical explosives. This is Aunt Mary. Patch me through to Yarnell. It's urgent. Sorry, sir. The line seems to be dead. We're too late at the lab. Tree has to have a backup someplace. Now find it, Johnny. You got it. This is Aunt Mary. I'm ordering full alert. Repeat, full alert. tank with salt water and pressurized it to simulate a depth of 40 feet. Now, if you will observe, the gold cross is in the center of the tank. We will be ready for ignition in approximately 60 seconds. This time, it will ignite on electrical impulse. Combustion will be caused by a combination of the impulse and the water pressure itself. You will note that under water, the heat factor will be minimized, but expansion due to combustion will be as extraordinary as it was in atmosphere. We'll be ready in just a moment, I believe. Two. 
tight. Close doesn't count. Wrong. And Sakai, you were clumsy last night. Diamond Head is still alive. Look, I saw him fall. You missed. How else could they be so close behind? We're only minutes ahead. We are still clear. Not until we're off this island. And now they'll have every artery blocked out of here. We're in a trap, and it's closing in. Did you make contact? Rendezvous is set for 1,600 hours. Well, that's it. Go to the shop and get everything ready. We need a boat. I'll take care of that. All their papers were in order. Uh, yes, that's right, Captain. Butler's gone. He left with two men in an official sedan. How long were you out? Five, maybe ten minutes. Captain, that formula is lethal. Now get out and alert. HPD, civil authorities, and the state police. I want APB on three civilians. Two Caucasians, one Asiatic, and give them the description of Butler. Butler? The real Butler is dead. The man who stole that formula is a double agent. Now get on it fast. I want the Navy, Air Force, and the Coast Guard commanders right away. Yes, sir. My compliments. Sunlight flatters you as much as candlelight. Inside. What do you want? Inside. You've got diamond head, isn't that enough? I haven't got diamond head, as you very well know. Now get your thing. Why? We're going sailing. You own a trimaran. We're going to have a little cocktail cruise. Now. Good, but not good enough. Drop it. Let's go. And one more thing, I'm your latest lover. We're doing some sunset diving, and I want you to act the part. Zulu told me to find you. Hey, he told me to give you an address. Where? Well, he said it'd be worth 50. Well, doing where? The diving shop on Berriton Hill Street. Hey, Johnny, what about my 50? Can't afford to break up now. All right. One last detail. Outside. Watch it.
him just before we left this morning. He was playing Peeping Tom. He's probably one of Diamond Head's men, which means he can't be far behind. Take the truck to Makaha and burn it along with the Hawaiian. Then catch a commercial flight to Hilo and I'll contact you there. Good we haven't got an apple to put in his mouth. We just ran out of time. Let's go. Guy, hold it. Hands on top of the head. Fast. Move it. to duck. What about Donovan? He just missed a minute or two, no more. You tie this guy up, let HPD do the rest, huh? I like to use barbed wire. So saying. Code 7, Earth. Johnny? Tree's headed for So Sing's trimaran. It's the Dragon Lady. It's moored at Honolulu Harbor. A sailboat? He must have friends waiting for him at sea. Mac, he's got So Sing. He's got that formula, and we've got to recover it. Mac, I want a shot at him. So Sing knows the rules, and so do you. I want to stop that boat at any cost. You owe me. You've got 30 minutes. Then I pull the trigger. We got 30 minutes. Espionage is such a small community. It's quite like a little family, really. 
What's in the bottle? Ah. To sum a whirlwind, to me, the only reality, $500,000 in a Swiss bank account. People died for your Swiss bank account. Overhead. Cost of running business. That's a price no one can pay. Or has the right to. Right. You'll be waving the flag next and George, Queen and country. There's no such thing, girl. The world is run by politicians who demand respectability without virtue, pleasure without payment, and blind men to bury their honorable dead. I just balance the scales a little, my way. Even in hell, you will balance the scales, right, Mr. Donovan? Just dear. Mamala Bay. What's it for me? You'll get another 50 bucks. Now start it up. I'm going. I'm going. That's right. A trimaran called the Dragon Lady. She's probably outside the Kualo Basin right now. And when I overtake? Order him into the wind. If he opens fire, respond. Stop that boat, no matter what. Yes, sir. On deck, stand by to get underway. Take in all lines. Let's go, priority one. Take Stay on this course. Don't be long. Johnny. Where's your flare gun? Here. But I always keep it. What do you want it for? What's the range? The flare will burst at 100 yards. How are we going to want so sing? Fly the cocktail flag. Nobody ever flies that going out. Only when there's a saloon in sight. Now, who is it? And I want to know the truth. Hong Kong Muldoon. He runs a charter. Stay aft. We only get one pass, man.
excuse tree. Come on. I was never one for lost causes. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Good news, fellas! Here comes trouble! Either somebody busted the law, or World War III's just started! That's all right, Hong Kong. You just want yourself a Cupid doll. <laughs> Never cease to amaze me. I didn't know you could cook, too. I'm a maze of hidden talents. What about my reward, huh? I do have some rare Maori carvings. I bet you do. Hello? Yes. Just a minute. You? And he didn't give his name. Yes. Hello? Johnny? I thought you'd like to know the gold cross formula has been destroyed. And the British have asked for extradition on Donovan. Yeah, <laughs> maybe in about, oh, 200 years. Well, fine, it's over then, right? Oh, this job, yes, but there is something else. Not tonight. I'm worried about security for the Korean ambassador. I'd like you to look into it. So, tomorrow, same time, same place. Right. Oh. No more of that nonsense. About the Maori carvings? Oh, yes, I want to see those. I know I'm going to be very impressed. Let's go. Hey, Johnny! I can't get this guy off my back. I just... Oh. Excuse me, Mom. Johnny! You owe me a hundred bucks. All right. Oh! It calls for a party, love. Come on! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.